Hey, everybody. God bless you. I hope and pray everybody's doing well. Um, I have um, an instruction from the Lord, a word from the Lord that he gave me that I'm going to share with you guys. And then I have a very brief um, prophecy of also what the Lord was showing me that is happening right now um, to to give you to let you guys um, know what is going on. And this is from uh, the book of Daniel. Um, and it's really amazing because the um the the spirit of the Lord was leading me. and i I I looked up um in the Dead Sea Scrolls what fragments they have of the book of Daniel. And the very last fragment that they have that has been translated that you see on the screen is the exact section that the Lord showed me, you guys. This is the time for all things written to be fulfilled, you guys. The Lord said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. This is the word of the Lord manifesting, unfolding before our very eyes. These are the days that the prophets, that our brothers and sisters who have gone before us were looking forward to. They, This is the time where the kingdom of Christ is growing and being made manifest, you guys. And it is truly beautiful and amazing. Um, I'm really excited to share um, this word um, in Daniel 11. Um, but first, there's an instruction from the Lord that he um, told me to share with everybody. But before we go into that, you guys, brothers and sisters, if you could come into agreement with me and let us lift up an offering to the Lord. And you guys, please, um, I, I pray and I ask that you guys would really um, unite with me with in in spirit and lift up this offering to the Lord. So Heavenly Father, in agreement with our brothers and sisters, Heavenly Father, with one mind, with one accord, in Jesus' mighty name, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father, we thank you, Father. We praise you above all, Father. We adore you, Father, in agreement with all of our brothers and sisters. Abba, we lift up an offering of thanksgiving, of praise, of adoration to you, Father. Father, we give you not just our whole minds and our hearts, but every step and breath that we take all the days of our lives, Father, even forevermore, Father. We want to be in your presence, Father. We want to spend eternity with you, Father. We pray that your will, your desires, your intentions, your kingdom, your Christ be, be loosed, be fulfilled, be made manifest in our lives, in all the earth as it is in the heavens, Father. And Father, we pray you send forth your labors and loose upon your labors what you would have us to do this day and every day to come. We pray that we would be guided with your Holy Spirit, accomplishing your word, glorifying you, and advancing your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you, Father. Thank you for everything you do, everything you've done, everything that you continue to do, Abba. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. So this is the instruction, um, the word of the Lord, and it's in Exodus chapter 19. Tell the children of Israel, ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So that is the word of the Lord, you guys, that he um, told me to share with everybody, to God's people, whomever he brings to this video, you guys, is um, is to, um, if, if you um, accept his covenant, and, and if you will be set apart for him and follow his ways and, and believe in his word, right? Believe in his covenant. When Jesus talked about um, the, the ones who were going to be coming into the new covenant were those that were um, that believed in Jesus's words, right? What he said in Matthew 26, 26, when he took bread, he said, 
this is um this is going to be the new the everlasting or some translations say renewed covenant that's the covenant that the lord is talking about those are going to be um a line of of kings and priests and um and that's for male and female right um it, in christ there is no male or female it is simply christ so um i wanted to share that with you guys and then this is um this is what the Lord led me to. And again, you guys, this is the, the all out of the book of Daniel in chapter 11. I believe this is the only part and this is the exact part um, that that is preserved in the Qumran scrolls that they translated. That is a very like mathematically, it has a very um, small chance. So glory to God. Um, he led me. He led me to this. But this is what is happening right now um, in the world uh, with Putin and, and the things that are happening. And it says, the king of the north will return and send out a multitude greater than the former. He will come on at the end of the times, even of years, with a great army and much substance. In those times, many shall stand up against the king of the south. Also, the children of the violent among your people will lift themselves up to establish the vision, but they will fall. So the king of the north will come and cast up a mound and take a well-fortified city. The forces of the south won't stand. Neither will his chosen people. Neither will there be any strength to stand but he who comes against him will do according to his own will and no one will stand before him he will stand in the glorious land and destruction will be in his hand amen all glory to god um so you guys if you go read this in your kjv version this is the actual english translation of what was written in hebrew and in aramaic um, that was found in the Qumran caves. This is accurate to what what Daniel or Daniel scribe actually wrote down. So it, when when you read this in the KJV, it might say like um, where it says he will come on at the end of times. Like if you read that in in KJV. Um, it says, and in those times, there shall stand up against the king of the south, right? So um, it says, for the king of the north shall return and shall set forth a multitude greater than the former and cert and shall certainly come after a certain um, come after certain years with a great army. So it's it's not saying like here at the end of time. So this is we are living in those end of times right now, um, the end of of this wicked world. Right. And the judgment thereof and and the beginning of the rule in the reign of the kingdom of Christ. So that's very interesting. And this is what is happening with Putin, with Ukraine. Um and, and so I wanted to share this with you guys, and you're going to see this word. This is the word of the Lord. These are the prophecies um, that were written thousands of years ago that are unfolding before our very eyes, you guys. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, uh, so I wanted to share some other things with you guys. And, and um, you know, just, just to let you guys know, um, you know, I've been going through um a really deep really um beautiful um healing and deliverance and transformation and it's been really beautiful um it's been very intense just um yeah so um maybe i'll share about that um if the lord leads and um hopefully tomorrow Lord willing, um, we can get together and do prayer. You guys, um, if we are not praying, um, 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, right? If we are not doing those things that the Lord has called us, that he has commanded us, we're not really true followers of Christ. So I just want to encourage you guys, you guys do the things that he said. I know this can be a hard time, you guys, but I want to encourage you, you guys walk humbly before him confess, ask him to purge you, to refine you, to reveal the error of your heart, to show you the fullness of his truth, you guys. And, and I know it's painful sometimes. I know it can hurt and there, there can be ugly things that come to the surface, but you guys, it's okay. Glorify the Lord, you guys glorify the Lord and, and, and walk humbly with him. And he will come, he will set you free. He will guide you, but you must love the truth. You must be humble to the point of willing to pray to the Lord, to seek those things, that, 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 that evil, that, that wickedness, that any lack in your life, that, um, you would acknowledge that and repent of it, acknowledge it and, and let him come into you and clean your, um, clean yourself from yourself and make more room for him so that is my prayer for you guys and i've been praying for you guys a lot i love you guys so much god bless each and every one of you and thank you guys for those who have been praying for me i can really feel your prayers and please continue to do so i love you guys so much god bless each and every one of you in the name of our lord and savior yeshua mashiach jesus christ amen